Hello, today we are going to enable Hibernate on Ubuntu 24.04. I searched on Google, came to this result. I have enabled hibernation on previous versions of Ubuntu, so I know in broad lines what should be done. Let's first get a terminal. So let's uh, see the size of the swap file and the size of my memory. So the random access memory is 10 gigabytes and the swap is just 4 gigabytes. The size of the swap should be a bit larger than the size of the RAM. So it should be at least 12 gigabytes in this example. Swap on minus minus show shows that I have a file named swap.img in size 4 gigabytes. So we need to increase the size of this file to 12 gigabytes. Okay, the swap file is um, defined to be used in the FS tab. So this uh, last line slash swap dot img. Let's just remove the file. Become super user. Slash swap dot img. The swap file is in use, so let's uh, remove it. Swap off. And now we have no swap available at all. Now we can remove the slash swap.img file. We can create it. So we need to allocate 12 gigabytes for a slash swap slash img file. We could use either dd or f allocate. Let's use this command. So we need um, one megabytes blocks and um, let's compute 12 times um, so this number one two 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 eight eight. And the name of the file should be swap.img. So one two two eight eight block size one megabyte. The correct name of file. Press enter. It's going to take a while to copy from slash dev slash zero to the new file slash swap.img. Okay, next up we need to change the chmod bits on the file because otherwise when we do make swap, make swap will complain. So this command line. Okay, and swap on. Let's see if um, the swap is already available and it is. We can see that it's a bit uh, larger than the amount of RAM. So 12 gigabytes compared to 10 gigabytes. Okay. Next up, we want to edit the um, Linux command line, so the command line of the kernel which looks like this right now. We need to add at the end of the command line two additional parameters.
Okay. For that, we want the UUID of the slash partition where the swap file resides. It's probably this one. We can um, also see it uh, in here. So 377 and ends with EE. And then we need the physical offset of the start of the slash swap.img file on the slash partition using this command line. Okay, so as uh, you can see in this screenshot, the column is named physical offset and it's the first integer value there. So this thing. Okay. And the command line that we want is this thing. Resume offset. and uh, resume equals. And we also need um, the major and minor for this thing. Otherwise, we will get the error call to hibernate failed invalid argument. So next up, we need to edit the Linux kernel command line by editing this file slash etc slash default slash grub. Let's see if nano works. Okay. And in here, we need to edit a line, grab command line, Linux default, which uh, by default has just two parameters, quiet and splash. So we need to add these two. Copy and paste. Okay, so quiet, splash, resume equals UUID equals and then the global unique ID of the slash partition, resume offset, and then the integer that we have just copied. Looks okay. Control O to write, Control X to exit. Okay. Next up, we want to regenerate the grub configuration and the bootloader. Okay. We will um, reboot and uh, that uh, then we will set the major and minor, at which point we can hibernate. So just re run reboot. So the computer has restarted. The command line changes to the Linux kernel have been applied. Let's prove that. Okay, so we have resume UUID and resume offset. Now we might want to try to hibernate the computer and uh, it should fail with this error. So system CTL hibernate. And indeed it does call to hibernate failed invalid argument. 
So we want to get the major and minor numbers of the slash partition. So that's lsblk. Which one is it? This thing, 253 and 2. Okay, we can also get at these by um, listing the directories. So we can prove that uh, the slash partition is slash dev slash VDA2. And then we're going to list the device. And um, after, so how this listing works, there's the chmod bits, then there's um, the user and group probably, and this is the major and minor because it's a block device. Okay, so 253 and then a 2. And that needs to be written to this uh, file. By default it's 0, colon 0. Okay, so echo the number. Sys power resume. List it again. And the contents is correct. 253 colon 2. And now we can um, try to hibernate the computer again. And this time it's successful. So hibernate has um, started correctly. The computer has hibernated. Then I could um, resume the computer. But then when I restarted the computer, the file slash sys slash power slash resume has reverted back to 0.0. So it's back to 0.0 instead of 253 colon 2. Okay, so the fix for that is to somehow during um, power on of the computer, make sure that uh, this uh, file is written with the correct uh, content. One of the possibilities is uh, with uh, such a thing, so tmpfiles.d directory in slash etsy directory. So because um, the content of the file slash t slash power slash resume has been reset to the default zero column zero, we cannot actually hibernate the computer with the exact same error called to hibernate failed invalid argument. We're going to try this workaround. Okay, and the numbers in my case are 253 and this is a 2. 253 and a 2. Control O to save. Control X to exit. Okay, now I'll reboot the computer and uh, make sure that uh, the content of the file slash c slash power slash resume is this one, 253 colon 2. So let's prove the computer has been restarted. We expect that the content of the file c is power resume is 253 colon 2, which it is. So at this moment we can hibernate, which means suspend to hard disk, resume, 
and even if we restart the computer, Hibernate will continue to work correctly. And I just always hibernate from the command line. I go sudo systemctl hibernate. I do not need any buttons and any graphical user interface support for this thing. Thank you.